Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through types of a production function. So in our previous lecture, we have gone through production function, right? Okay. So production function is nothing but it is a function to which if you give a particular input, you're going to get some output. So input, you'll be giving some products or sorry, some raw materials and you'll be getting the end product at the output file side. Okay. So here we are having two types of production functions, short run and long run. So short run, so from the name, we can say it is for short time. So most of them will be fixed guys. Okay, whereas long run, so long run means there could be many changes in the company. So short run, where fixed factors cannot be changed. So there will be some fixed factors which will not be changing. So few will be changing guys, please remember that. Like labor, like uh, the salaries for the labor and everything will be changing, small, small things. Whereas long term, where all factors can be changed according to our requirement or even they can be kept constant, fine? Okay, so now let us, in this lecture, let us go through some introduction about short term and we will also discuss about law of variable proportions guys, okay. So let us continue. Short run proportional function. So basically what is this function guys? So this function consists of different different parameters which we will be using in our business and at least few of them are fixed. So that is nothing but your short run production function. So the short run production function is one of one which at least one factor of the production is kept constant. So we can write Q is equals to F of L comma C comma M. Here L is nothing but your labor unit, C is nothing but your capital, M is nothing but your material. So I think it's clear now. Okay, so Q will be your quality. So here, mostly, more in most of the situation, we'll be keeping the capital as constant, guys. Capital, even you can write your asserts like buildings and all those things. They, those will be obviously kept constant. You will not increase like day to day. You will not increase your area, right? Per year, if you are getting huge profits, then you will be expanding your business like that. Fine. So that is the reason why this those will be kept constant in short run. Okay. So let us continue with the total product. So total product. There are three concepts, guys. Total product, marginal product, and average product. So first let us go through total product. Total product is nothing but, let us go through definition. So total product means the total output generated by the product by using all the factors of production. So by using all the factors, you'll be producing a product. So that is nothing but your total product, fine? Okay, so marginal product. Marginal product is nothing but the differences between the two products with respect to labor. So that's it to be simple. So marginal product is defined as a change in the total product per unit change in, uh, in the variable input of the changes in the labor. So it is nothing but delta TP, that is nothing but total product by delta labor, L, labor, fine, okay. So now let us continue with the average product. So average product is nothing but it is having whenever you are doing with the product by labor. So per product per labor, you will be doing the ratio. So that is nothing but your average product. So average product may be defined as the total product TP per unit of a variable input. So let us, if you are giving variable different, different labors. So according to that, the average product will also change. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through law of variable proportion. So basically this law of variable proportion will be depending on completely depending on total product and marginal product guys. So please understand the concept. It's really easy. So it is assumed that only in short run, as we find only few fixed factors, this law of variable proportion comes into play. So here we will be assuming the variable factor is nothing but our labor and our fixed factor will be our land. So this is our total product and this is our marginal product. So for better understanding, first write marginal product guys. After that you can update the total product. So first let us assume we are not having this any data. So now you will be starting from here, write some value 10. So just multiply it 20 and from now on decrement it guys. 15, 9, make it 0. After that go to negative. Fine. So now you add this with the above value. Is there any above value? No. So directly write 10. So 10 plus 20 will be 30. 10 plus 20 plus 15. The total will be 45 or you can even do 45 plus 9 is nothing but 54. 54 plus 0 is 54. 54 minus 8 is 56. So in this way you will be filling the table guys. So if you observe in every situation TP is increasing guys. That is nothing but total product. So total product increasing, increasing, increasing. Whereas here MP is increasing, so write MP is increasing, here MP is decreasing, so write MP is decreasing, here MP is negative, so write MP is negative. So just to form a graph for this guys, so the graph will be in this way. So we are having three stages, initially both are incremented, after that TP is incremented constantly, but MP is decremented to zero in stage two, if you remember, in stage two we decremented it to zero, okay, so further continuing TP is incremented slowly and MP is completely went to negative. So that is nothing but stage one, stage two, stage three, x in according to x axis and according to y axis. In x axis, that is nothing but units and in x axis, in y axis, it is output. Stage one, stage two, stage three, TP and MP. So at this moment, the TP value will be maximum because if you notice the TP, we, we took it to negative, right? Negative values. 
so that is the reason why it is constant right there fine so in this way you will be writing the values so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next lecture we will be going through wrong long run production function so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching